Okay. I think we have him tired enough to get him over to Alex. Gotcha, yes! When you get a call from your son who knows how much you love fishing, and I'm getting absolute goosebumps talking about this already, and he tells you that there are fish lined up bank to bank at a spillway, check out this video right here. When you get that call, you drop just about everything, including putting together this new house. Check out the new backsplash, everybody. A little sneak preview of the finished product. We've also got the backyard going well. Uh, the building's been lifted and had the steel beams put underneath it. Um, got HVAC, plumbing, all this other stuff going on. So can't wait to show you the finished product. After seeing the beginning of all of this, I think you're going to be really amazed because I know I'm going to be amazed. I can't wait to see it. That's for sure. Anyway, we're going down to New Ulm. We're going down to New Ulm, Minnesota. Two and a half hour drive on a whim. Why? Because I'm fish brain chain and I heard there's fish shore to shore. I was sent video. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Got one strong. Holy crap. Got one. Nice one. Fishing, let's go fishing, let's go fishing now. Road trip time. Stop for the red bowling. Gotta make sure you're wide awake for these big fish. We are here. Time to climb down the hill. Let's see what's going on. Well, it's kind of a highway spot. We're loaded up, we're ready to go. We're gonna head down the hill. This place is awesome, I've been here a couple times before. You should check out my other videos. I'll put them down in the description, the other videos, the other videos that I've done from this spot. See you in a bit. What's up, buddy? You catching anything? Yeah, you can see them in there, huh? Yeah, I don't, that's not what I want, but. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try and sneak up here a little ways from me and stay out of your yeah, way. What's up, G-Dog? How you living? Good. Looks like this is climbable. Check this out. And you can see the fish down in there. Check this out, you guys. Oh yeah, look at this. He's got one right there. There's a sheep head, but you're seeing like, we're seeing gar, we're seeing carp, all kinds of different fish in there. This place is just stacked up with fish right there. Oh, there's a vine right here. There's a scooching down here. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, look at them right there, dude. You can just see them right there. Look at them all. All right, you know what? Screw it. We're going in after them.
We're going to go in this little pool after one of these fish. There we go. First fish of the day. That's a sheephead, it looks like. Good size fish, though. Man, that's fun. All right, let's get him out here. Let's get back in there. I'd like to get one of these carp or one of these gar. I know there's some sheephead and some other kind of fish in here, but just a uh, carp or gar would be nice. Like a big carp, you know what I mean? Let's snow mow release this first guy of the, uh, of the day. Ready? Here we go. Bye, buddy. Oh, you got one? Another sheep head. There's a bunch of big fish over here too. Oh boy, okay, I got you. Don't run too far. <laughs> it looks like another sheephead. It is. Well, another fish, but not quite what we're looking for. I do love catching fish, though, and this guy bit and fought really hard. Go on back in there, buddy. See you later. Well, don't come back, actually. He didn't say anything, but he must have. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, another sheephead. Ooh. Boy, this one's fighting hard right here, though. Oh, look at that guy. That's a big one. Biggest one yet. Now, I got 50-pound braid on, and that's why I'm able to do this, just kind of horsing them up and stuff. But, um, again... Might have to switch the presentation or something on this because while I like catching big fish, don't get me wrong, I want to catch a couple of the other ones. Oh, look, there's a double. She's got one over there. All right, we'll get you back, buddy. Let's go. See you later. Oh, I thought I was snagged for a second there, you guys. Oh, yeah, we got one. We got a good one. This is a good fish right here. Okay, I'm going to give him a little bit of room. But this is a decent fish. I, I, I feel like he bit, but I'm not sure. I definitely have him hooked. Might be able to land this guy. <laughs> We're hoping. Oh, boy. Okay. I honestly, I thought I was snagged, you guys. 50 pound test and I'm still giving them some room. Okay, I'm gonna celebrate after this fish. I just saw him, he's huge. He's huge. I just saw him. He's making a big wake. Oh, I'm so glad I got the 50 pound test on. I just saw this fish and he is a, an enormous fish. I am going to have to, I'm seriously going to have to let this guy just run himself out. But I can't let him get me in the current too much. I got to kind of pull him back out of there a little bit. Alex, I might need your help over here, buddy. Why don't you come on over? Oh my goodness. What a fight, you guys. Oh my gosh. This is what I came here for, man. Oh. Don't snap oh, your pole wow. like I did. This thing is unbelievably huge. Okay, I gotta tire him out. Can you walk over there? Nope, I'm gonna do it right here. Okay. I'm gonna tire him out and I'm gonna go and get him in the water right here. 
He's starting to tire a little. I got him hooked in the back fin. He's foul hooked, you guys. This could be a bit difficult because of him being foul hooked. Look at how big that fish is. Oh my goodness, Alex might actually have to help me on this one because he is foul hooked, but absolutely enormous. He's so big. I'm trying not to unhook him here. Don't get, no, 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 get back here. Wow, that is big. He is huge, dude. Yeah, if you can get him up over here, you can get control of him. I'm trying. This has been it's a fight. a little hard because he is foul. Hooked. Oh, he's enormous. A little, a little mossy here. Okay, come here. He don't want to come up in them shallows. I don't blame him. He's like, I didn't even bite this thing, man. <laughs> What's going on? What am I doing on this? Oh boy, okay. I wish nope. I had a net for you. We don't need yeah. a net. We need to catch this fish. Okay. I think we haven't tired enough to get him over to Alex. Or to me. Or to you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't go anywhere, big fella. Not yet. And don't fall in, big fella. That's <laughs> talking to me. <laughs> wow. Oh. Nice fish. It's a giant carp, man. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and that popped out right when I picked him up. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, you guys. That's a big fish. I got this thing on half. And look at the size of this. And look at this fish. Look at this. This is what I came here for. My son called me. He said, I'm seeing fish from bank to bank. Carps, gar, everything. Get down here. You know what I did? I'm freaking fish brain shame. I came right down here, and this is why, right here. Yeah, it is. Come on up, you big bastard. And there you go. All right. What a nice fish. Here we go. Hmm. This thing's like a freaking goat trail. I don't want to fall down there. This is the part that's a little sketchy. Just got to concentrate on the path and not the fact that if you fall, you know. It is what it is. Whew. Why are there carp laying up here? Uh, that's actually uh, illegal. It's unbelievable. That's gross. It's called wanton waste. It's an old wives tale that you're supposed to pull junk fish out of the lake and leave them. They're actually native to the ecosystem and vital. Well, this is so if you're keep fishery. if you're keep it doesn't matter. Oh. They got to take them too. I thought they had to dispose of them somewhere. Well, they can they can get like a yes, but they have to take them. Well, yeah. Like they may have a farmer that takes them for fertilizer or something like that, but they have to take them. Yep. Still catching them. Another sheep.
Probably a sheep head, but still fun. Let's see what we got here. You can almost anything on the bottom here. Bye, buddy. There's a good one right there. Screw it. Hold this. Hold this. Hold this, dude. Hold this. I think I'm just going to try for it. Don't bite my finger. I see you. There's like three of them coming in from behind. And they're like, whoa, a finger, a finger. Little shit. Oh, oh, I just touched one on the nose. I just touched one on the nose for sure. Yeah, right. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Dude, all of a sudden I got foam here. They're protected by the foam. The little bastards. Oh, that one was up there. Come do that again. He came up enough. Come on, do that again. Do it again. Dude, I'm catching one of these. For sure. By hand. Come up. There's so much foam since I got here. I can't see him. There's one right there. All right, come here, you bastard. See him? Oh, he was so close! I am catching one of these for sure. Come on. This one's right here's mine. Come on up. Come on. Where'd he go? The foam kit's in there. I can't see. Oh, there's minnows right up against here. Dude, check it out. That's why they're here. Look at this. Look at these minnows. I'm catching one of these son of a guns. Oh, I had him! Oh, he was there! I had him, dude! I had him in my hand! It's okay. He's coming up. Come on up again. Oh, I had it! The big one's over there. This is a smaller one. Got him! Oh man! I had him, dude! You son of a gun! How did he get out of my hands? I can't breathe anymore. I'm coming up. That was a big one. That's the biggest one I've had my hands on. I'm gonna have the grip of a lion. A lion's grip. With claws. A clawed lion grip. I'm going for a clawed lion grip. Come here, you son of bitches. Ah! No claw, no lion, no grip! Ah! Well, I may have to give up. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna have to go. My knee is get killing me. As soon as I get up there, there's gonna be a big one laying here. Gotcha, yes. No more, no more. You're not getting away. Hold on. Come on. Ugh. Told you I had a death grip of a lion. <sighs> okay, okay. Calm down. It's okay. I'm going to put you back. So, this may be my first ever gar that I've actually caught, and it's by hand. How cool is that? Huh? That's awesome. That is pretty cool. We doubled up. Oh, you got it <laughs> on the rod. I got the hand going. So these guys, what makes them cool is their mouth. But you guys, this is awesome. This is a gar, my first one ever. Oh, and now he's gone. And that's okay. As long as he's okay, I'm okay. That was awesome. That was cool. Oh, look at that guy right there. That's my boy. Hello. Called me up today and said, hey, I see fish stacked everywhere. And I have had one of the greatest 
fishing days I've had in a long time. Just because I love throwing a worm on the bottom. I love going after stuff like a little kid, like trying to hand fish for stuff. And this was just an awesome day. So I have to thank my son, of course. And I have to thank myself for being such a fantastic lover of fish. <laughs> fish brain chain, out. Yeah.